Hi everyone, it's Brenton here from Grant Sheds again. Today I'm here with Milton Chandler, he's over from Penong. Uh, Milton, can you tell us a little bit about your sheds, mate? How many sheds have you got from Grant's here? Um, I've built um, five sheds over a period of about 17 years. Uh-huh. And um, I guess there's a couple of reasons why I've gone for Grant's. One is obviously a good product, but probably the main focus was the fact that I could get a contractor to come and put them up, yep. and a very good contractor for that, Steve. Um, but in saying that, um, structurally, you know, your sheds are, are very good, and I've always been happy with them, so I've always continued to, to buy grant sheds. Yep. And what type of sheds have we got now? You mentioned a super shed Yeah, before. the first one was a 150 tonne fertiliser shed, um, second one I think was a uh, 80 by 60, no, no, 80 by by 50, um, and then there was a couple of lean twos over that period of time, and the last one I built only last year was a 40 by 50, I can't remember the height, 5.1 or something, um, yeah, yeah. workshop. Yep. So, um, yeah, it was sliding doors, and and that's been one of the best investments I've, I've made. Should have done that 17 years ago, should have been the first shit I did. Yeah. Yeah. Hindsight's well, a good thing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> So when you're thinking about building a shed, say your workshop for instance, what did you think about, what was your, your layout plans? Uh, I wanted something that I could um, drive a semi-trailer through, um, uh, plenty of area, and just basically be out of the, be out of the elements I suppose. Mm-hmm. Um, so you know, we get quite a few bad days living close to the coast, and um, you know, there's a lot of days that... Uh, drives your nuts working outside in the wind and, mm-hmm. and sun. So. so it's just a nice reprieve to be able to get out of Yeah, there. and yeah, just, you know, quality of the work and everything's better if you've got a good environment to work in. So. Yeah. Yep. Now, you mentioned before about Steve, uh, living in Penong, it's about, a, what, about 100 k's west of Sojourner? No, it's, we're about, so we're halfway between Sojourner and Penong, so oh, yeah. we're about you know, 45, 50 k out. Yep. So um, it's still reasonably remote though, oh, isn't it? It is. so it is hard and to get the contractors there. Uh, the first time that I knew about Steve, he came over and built a, a three-stand shearing shed for my neighbour, and uh, I've seen how quick it went up, and uh, so subsequently I contacted Steve, I might have contacted Steve through you guys actually, because right. I knew it was a grass shed, and uh, he said, yep, no problem, and come over and put it up, and that was the, my fertiliser shed. Um, three days, the job was done and Steve was gone. And you know, Where we are now, we're competing with the mining industry and I know a lot of people are in, in different areas for tradesmen and, and it's just so difficult to get you know, a contractor to come and do the job and for us guys to do it ourselves, we haven't got the equipment mm-hmm. and it's just so inefficient um, and for us you know, to get a guy like Steve to come in and do the job, it's just it's the way to go. It's, I know you pay for the service, but at the end of the day, you know, if us guys had to muck around and do it ourselves, we'd be there for probably a month. Yep. Um, and it's just uh, efficiencies, I suppose, is one of the main reasons yeah. I go to Steve. And just knowing you can point someone at the job. Yeah, that's, that's right. What I want it, that's what I want done. Yep. And you know the job's done and finished. That's right. There's not little bits left over. Yep. And he endorsed your product um, initially. He did say there was only a couple of sheds that he would muck around and build, um, and yours was one. Um, and that's probably been the main reason. I mean, you do sell a good product, but it was just a simple fact that I could, you know, get Steve to come and do the job for yep. me. And, and uh, look, I've just been, you know, happy with your sheds and Steve as the contractor over the years. Yep. So, hence, five sheds later. Yeah, there we go. So, five yeah. sheds in 17 years. It's a good track record. It is. That's right. So, oh, I'd like to think it was my last one. I've spent too much money building sheds. <laughs> <laughs> And yet there'll always be another tractor. Well, that's right. You know, <laughs> and if you're going to spend money on equipment, um, you know, they just deteriorate too much. It's, it's a huge investment to go and buy machinery and then just leave me sitting out in the weather. It's Particularly where we are, we're not that far from the coast. We get a lot of damp nights and salt air, and they just appreciate so much in a short period of time. Yeah. yeah. No worries. Now, as far as grants go, how have you found the service and, uh, and uh, the sort of quality program? Yeah. Mainly the service. Oh, no. Good, good crew to deal with. Um, I felt like that I've known you for years, actually, and this is the first time I've actually met you and yeah. your mum and dad the other night as well. So, yep. um, yeah, no, no issues there at all. That's fantastic. Mm. Melody, well, thank you very much for coming on camera with us today. No problem. Uh, again, thank you for being a, a great, loyal customer. Uh, yep. And we'd, we'd like to stay in touch with you more often. Okay.
No so, worries. Yeah, thank you very much. No problem. Thanks for watching, guys.